What's going on guys? I'm reviewing the Buzzsaw Heavy Duty Adjustable Bench put out by Bells of Steel version two. And as of today, this thing is on sale for 25% off, which is a very good price for today only. And I actually had this thing for about a month and a half to two months. I heard they were putting this uh, sale for today. So I wanted to hold off uh, just for today to actually put this for review out. And I was actually gonna pay for this bench until they offered to actually send to me for free, which I was extremely happy for that. So I wanna put that out there as a disclaimer. I will put an affiliate link down below if you guys do choose to pick this up. It's gonna help support me and the channel. Now, there's a number of reasons why I was in the market for a new bench, even though know, I already had a couple cheap ones, but I wanted something that was heavy enough to hold down some of the counterweight when I was using my Speedience eGym. But really specifically, I wanted something that had a leg attachment for leg extensions and leg curls. In doing that, I wanted something that was more of a heavy-duty bench. Well, there's certainly other benches in the market that are in this kind of uh, price point, and I'd say the kind of build quality, not all of them have a leg extension, leg curl option. And so I wanted one that was kind of robust, but had a lot of stuff there. You guys saw the unboxing. Parts are pretty much you know, self-explanatory. The manual was pretty simplistic, almost too simplistic. It honestly took me a while. It was not the most fun thing to put together. I'd recommend having two people. Jumping into the exercises, I'm kind of dividing this into upper and lower body. The first ones I'm just showing you, some uh, exercises or reps to failure using the Speedience. You can see that bench is not moving. On the Speedience stock bench they gave me, that thing would kind of fly all over the place. I had to kind of weight it down. This thing's not moving on the Speedience, so this thing's pretty versatile in the fact that you can kind of use it there. You're gonna see some you know, basic dumbbell stuff using the bench, again with a solid bench, you can take advantage of things on that. Uh, even with a lever gym, uh, I think it's pretty solid and not moving at all when you're using it. And I also like, the, I think it's the dimensions are IPF dimensions more or less. Uh, you're seeing a couple different shots here because I have the old adjustable dumbbells, but I recently picked up the Snowed, so I've had this bench for a long time. So you're seeing kind of a mix, mix and match of those. Did recently review the Snowed dumbbells here, so check out that review, I'll link it here on the screen. That sale is also going on right now. Uh, other than that though, uh, using the motion space, this thing's pretty cool. I'll even link this review here on the screen if you guys are curious. This thing actually does fit on the uh, motion space eGym. You're gonna see another shot here. And some tricep extensions works out pretty good. Uh, chest flies worked out really good. Again, really solid just there. Uh, and in a second here, we're gonna get into uh, just the lower body, which is the, really the main motivation of why I wanted to pick this up and kind of some final shots here. Uh, and then basically kind of transitioning in the, in the lower body, you'll see some glute bridges. I did some other stuff with the barbell too, but you can drop this down to a decline if you want to. So a lot of versatile positions you guys can get into. Here is that attachment that they kind of the add-ons, you kind of adds on for the extensions and then also uh, leg curls. You're gonna see just some interesting stuff. This is the Vector Athletics belt, which I also recently reviewed. I'll link that down below if you guys are curious. You gotta kind of fine tune the, the right height for leg curls and leg extensions. For me, the leg curls, I like kind of all the way bottomed out for the leg extensions. I kind of raise it up a little bit. See, I'm doing some four straps here. This ultimately, guys, is the thing I was really missing out on. I always I have a lot of stuff in my gym, a lot of stuff for legs, some of the cool stuff you guys are going to see in the near future with legs. Because in 2024, one of my main goals I want to hit back to is leg definition. I certainly work my lower body at equal to my upper body, but I just find my lower body doesn't really get as defined unless I'm doing some of those single joint exercises. And so that's things like leg extensions, leg curls, like you guys are seeing here. And this really does, to me, at least tie together the home gym experience because that was one of the missing pieces I feel like I wasn't getting uh, in the home gym. You're gonna see another leg machine coming up uh, in the near future that's gonna further kind of push my legs, I think, to another level and really does kind of encapsulate uh, my completing the home gym, I think, at least for all the, the things I felt like I was missing out in like a real gym. Uh, you guys are gonna look forward to kind of seeing that. But if you guys got any questions about this or anything else regarding this uh, Bells of Steel Buzzsaw Bench, let me know. Again, that sale's going on today for 25% off. That's pretty steep for this bench. Uh, they also got their other attachments in there as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.